right, guys, welcome to Chapel Small Groups. Uh, I hope that you had a great break and that you, uh, that you really enjoyed your time with friends and family and just resting uh, from, from uh, last semester. Now we enter into this new semester, and I just believe God has great things for us, and this is truly going to be the best semester we have ever had. And uh, I'm so happy about these small groups, and I hope you've been enjoying your time in them. Last time we were together in chapel was Christmas time, and we talked about Joseph. In fact, three times in, in the Christmas story, God appeared to people and said, fear not. The shepherds and Mary, and then with Joseph. And uh, for Joseph, it was all about this idea of, Joseph, don't be afraid of what other people are going to think of you. Be obsessed and be concerned with what God thinks about you. And so we talked about the fact that pleasing God often means that we're going to disappoint, disappoint people. But when we become and when we become obsessed with what people think about us, it's really hard for us to think about what God God believes in us. But the opposite of that is also true. When we become obsessed with what God thinks about us, it's the quickest way to forget what people think about us. All right. And so I really want to encourage you with those thoughts again as we go into this small group uh, time together. I want you to remember that if you're not ready to be criticized for your obedience to God, you're probably not ready to be used by God because criticism is going to happen. Uh, but we can't be afraid of that. And it's those extraordinary acts of obedience to God um, that really, those ordinary acts that, of obedience to God that leads to extraordinary things. We see that in Joseph after he was given a dream and told to fear not. Immediately he got up and he said, or it says of him in verse 24 of Matthew 1, that he did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. And he took Mary to be his wife. Now, I want to ask you um, a few questions. I wanted you to start with maybe a little icebreaker, and I want you to share a funny, um, a funny experience of a time when someone or something scared you, or you scared someone. All right. So think about that, and just uh, just share those times. Have fun with it. Uh, I think we all have some funny stories of some time that we have been scared or that someone or that we have scared someone. Uh, what does that look like for you? Share those share those experiences with your group. Um, and then I want you to answer this question. How might you be obsessed by what people think of you? Is it your social media? Is it the clothes you wear at school? Um, uh, is it the way... Uh, the way you carry yourself, are you obsessed with what people think of you? Remember I told you the story of getting a haircut when I was in uh, middle school and, and coming to school and just being so afraid what everyone else is going to be or what everyone else is going to think of me. How are you obsessed with what people think about you? Uh, then, have you ever been criticized because of your obedience or faith to God? Have you ever been um, criticized for your obedience to God or your faith in God? And what did you learn from that experience? Remember I challenged you with this idea of what it would look like for one person, one student at Bice to be totally on fire for God um, and what a difference that could make. Now some of you feel that stirring in your heart that you're going to be that one person. Uh, what are you willing to do with the criticism that someone might give to you for standing strong in your faith to God and being that young person who will be a catalyst for what I believe could be revival right here at Bice. If you, wanna, if you want that, you got to be willing to be criticized or un incur some, some criticism for that. But fear not, right? Because God is with you. Next question, what ordinary act of obedience do you need to take in your life? What ordinary act of obedience do you need to take in your life uh, to accomplish whatever it is that the Lord has put on your heart to be the person He wants you to be. Uh, remember, not caring what others think about us, but only what God thinks about us. If we are living with that mindset, we will want to act in extreme obedience. One more question for you. Um, and I just want you to ponder this, all right? In what way could you become obsessed 
with what God thinks about you. Just think about that for a moment. In what way could you become obsessed about what God thinks about you? Now go live that kind of life that is truly obsessed with what the Lord thinks about you. Paul said it this way, are we more concerned with pleasing God or man? If you live your life to please God, fear not, because He's going to do extraordinary things through you. All right, guys, have a great small group today, and uh, we look forward to hearing the good reports of things that come out of this time we have together. Thank you.